Hi everyone, welcome back to the Psalm 40 Project. My name's Jonah. I'm here with uh, Reverend Mike Hogaboom. <laughs> and uh, we're talking about his call story today. Um, this is sort of the, uh, the brainchild behind the Psalm 40 Project right here, Mike and I, trying to figure out how we could uh, get more people involved, communicating with one another, sharing testimonies, things yeah. like that. Mike, we've been talking with all the ministers about the call stories, so let's just get straight into it. Yeah. How did your call develop? Slowly. That seems to be a common theme. Yeah, so um, I think if I, if I think about a call story, I often just kind of think of that time in college, and there were probably two two pieces that were happening simultaneously. One, um, I ended up at Calvin, and Calvin is talk. you know, Calvin were talking about how um, God calls us, and all of life is worship, and you can serve God in whatever occupation that you, you know, where you're gifted, and, and where you're called. And very Calvinist mindset very about Calvinist. the world. Yeah, that's right, Kuyperian <laughs> worldview, and that go. made a lot of sense to me, and I love that. And then at the same time, uh, our church, um, I grew up in Byron Center, so Heritage Christian Reformed Church, uh, we had a young adults pastor. His name was Vance Hayes. He was a seminary student um, um, and who had joined the Christian Reformed Church later. He had become a Christian while in college and, okay. and then was discipled by InterVarsity, became an InterVarsity leader. So mm -hmm. he, he took okay. very much an InterVarsity sort of approach to discipleship to mm -hmm. that, that ministry at our church. It starts there, just kind of thinking and praying, God, what is it that you want me to do with my life? And then Vance talking about um, about that for us college and career people at our church. Yeah, so both the uh, both the internal work and the external work kind of working I, together at the same time. I think that's right, yeah. At Calvin, I started off um, in the education track, elementary education, and um, that was going well. I mean, I was accepted into the program. I, st I started my first class, did well in terms of grades in that mm -hmm, class, mm -hmm. but um, hit a, hit a, hit, raised some real helpful questions for me when I was doing the teacher aiding component of that class and in the classroom. Um, and I was just finding that that was not life-giving to me at all. Yeah. I don't think I would have used those words at all, it was, but it was frustrating and difficult and challenging. And it didn't I, come as naturally as you'd thought that it I should. I think that's probably fair. Yeah, I thought it should be a little more natural mm -hmm. if that's what God's mm -hmm. calling you to do. So that prompted in me to kind of rethink, well, what is it that I am doing at college? Yeah, that's kind of interesting, just a side tangent, yeah. that both you and Bob Grusin both tried the educational field yeah, uh, and it didn't quite work out for either of you but at the same time it pushes you into ministry which is that's educational. Right. That's right. Yeah. I had been on the German interim okay. with uh, Wally Bratt was our leader. For He led that. I was in Germany for six weeks, West Germany and East Germany going to a communist country and that shaped me in profound ways, mm. having grown up in kind of a bubble yeah. of Christian church and school and my whole life, and then suddenly the, it's, it, uh, the world opens up. And then being able to communicate with people in their native language mm. and, be, and finding that through all of that formation at Calvin that you actually are able to do that oh. was just mind-blowing awesome. for me. Yeah. So, yeah. When I got to the point of deciding, well, elementary education, being a teacher is not the journey I'm on, mm. uh, I didn't know what else to do. Okay. And so then I was um, considering taking, well, no, I wasn't just considering. I had made up my mind that summer to not return to Kelvin in the fall. Mm. Well, there was a um, reunion, a summertime reunion of the German interim class okay and and I wasn't able to go to that 
but Lisa, who was my girlfriend then, my wife now, went to that and to the reunion picnic and was talking to Wally and said, well, said I wasn't returning to school in the fall. He had yeah. asked how I was doing. And through Lisa, Wally said, well, have Mike come and talk to me. No. <laughs> He's not giving As I up said, on you just yet. Wally <laughs> took pity on me. So and he did a very good job of helping me think through, well, is is not coming back in the fall the best option? What if you considered this option or this option? Or what if you took a year in school to kind of explore your options? And and basically what that what he showed me is that we could I could continue to discern that education in fact wasn't the track so I, I took one more class that would help in that education track for me uh -huh. and at the same time he I could continue to explore some classes toward a major where I already had enough some I had built up some momentum towards a major that would allow me to graduate in four years so I did that and in the end I I graduated from Calvin with a geography major and a whole bunch of other classes that got me close to minors but I never finished them all and what drew me to that at that time was um, not so much the putting places on maps yeah. which is part of it but the study of cultures and the mm -hmm. study mm -hmm. of how cities formed and and to see something that seems so uh, to see the organic nature of how cities cities form really drew me in in the in the study of culture and so from what I know about you I, I see where this is going you see where that's for, going but for those who don't and who yes. are listening yes uh, so the, if I may I'm yep. gonna circle back okay. because the Vance Hayes part the youth pastor part mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Vance was encouraging um, in terms of discerning God's will an intervarsity option, which was the Urbana Mission Conference, which at that time happened every th three years or something, so a student could uh, participate in at least one opportunity during your four-year college career. You could go to an intervarsity intervarsity mission conference. Okay. So I went to that, and uh, Lisa and I were engaged at that point. We both attended, and um, and we walked away with a sense of God calling us around a few different themes. One, uh, unreached people. Mm. So um, primarily that meant s sort of Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, etc. So unreached people was a theme. Cities as the places <laughs> where people were coming and where the spirit was at work yep. was a theme. We came away from that with this sense of well, if we're going to, um, and then and then a sense that we should explore cross-cultural ministry. Okay. So, Lisa and I got married in our senior year, and that next summer we uh, went on an exploratory immersion trip to the Middle East, where we visited Egypt, Israel, and Turkey. Oh. <laughs>